Hello YouTube and welcome to an episode of Omega Craft Ultimates. We're here at the factory and I would like to talk about some things I've done since last episode. So, as you'll see we have two new machines, the Slice and Splice and the Soul Binder. I may or may not have made this one in the end of last episode, but I know I didn't make that one on camera. I believe I also made this Osmio compressor off camera, I can't remember. I think I did, yeah because I needed to make that so I could make the digital miner, which I did make in the end, and I've used it twice. And so it's collected me lots of ores, as you can see. Uh, I've done my iron and gold already. Didn't get that much gold. Gold's quite rare, but I got a lot of iron. And I've still got like half it left. So downstairs, big changes. Using these extra resources, uh, particularly in the quartz side of things, a lot of nether quartz, I went mining for nether quartz and surface quartz crystal. We have managed to make these 4K processor and co-processing units over here. I planted this for a while, should have done it on camera, it didn't actually in the end. Again, I should have done. Uh, they actually go down a bit, I think. Yeah, they're, they're just two blocks deep, so. Over here, I've obviously added more recipes in. You have to see. Got a few more. And then. The main reason why I did this off camera over here is because it takes so long to make all of the chips for it. Uh, so as you can see over here, I made these 4K drives. These take ages to make, by the way. Let me just... Uh, so you, you can sort of see the amount. I mean, I've got more than enough stuff to make it. It's just it takes so long. <laughs> Start. I'll just let it run for a bit. Make some. See when it gets done. Uh, crystal graphic service I did on camera. This I did off camera. Okay, so I got three machines from Advanced Machines add on the Centrifuge Extractor, Singularity Compressor, and the Rotary Macerator, and the Electric Furnace with 12 overclockers in. These can only accept six overclockers each, and they need to be kept on by a redstone signal, which are done using the uh, redstone conduits going across, top of there. Item conduits extract the items from the back and put it into there. And these machines have recipes on them. Uh, so here we've got compressed cobalt and uranium ingot. And some dusts. And that stuff. So the, the reason why I put compressed cobalt in there is actually because I can actually craft a cold chunk with that. Why did I want to craft a cold chunk? Well, if we come around the front here, about the side, you'll see something very odd about one of these solar panels. Can you guess which one it is? So this one right here, this solar panel is an ultimate hybrid solar panel upgraded from the advanced solar panel, like so. I just threw my thing on the floor. That's how you upgrade it. So this requires this stuff. Scenario is just made by putting a glowstone macular transformer, which we have at the cart base, so I just used that. Magnets on apparently, it's useful. Turn that off. Um, yeah, so that stuff's just made by Iridium Uranium, which is just Uranium surrounded by Glowstone like that. Um, around a Scenarium, which is just a piece of Glowstone, effectively. Scenarium Alloy is, of course, your piece of Glowstone, your Iridium Reinforced Plates. And so you make that. Iridium Ore is made by Iron in the Metal Kit Transformer as well. So again, not actually that expensive. Your advanced solar panel, of course, three coal chunks and a Lapis Lazuli block. That is the upgraded Ultimate Hybrid Solar Panel. That's in there. When I make Iridium properly, other than for making the solar panels, I'm not going to use the molecular transformer method. I'm going to use the standard method provided by IC2, uh, which is, of course, the mass fabricator with UU matter. So this episode, I actually want this door to work, not just to be crap and just there. Uh, so let's have a look. We have pearls, ender pearls. So we need to upgrade these to Aretha pearl. A rether pearl or something like that. Uh, there it is, rether pearl. Two of those. Uh, so we're going to want. I wish I put wireless wrong. Right. Not that many S's. Not that many S's, no. Uh, so I need a wireless receiver, really. I need an obsidian stick, first of all. 
I need one of these. That's a stone bowl. Uh, that one. That's like so. Keep clicking on the wrong one here. Because it keeps moving around. Um, stone slabs. Like that. That's the receiver. Uh, we need the remote. Which is invisible. How useful. Yeah, it used to do that a lot, actually, didn't it? So I have to delete the texture for that at some point. The crappy, broken one that provided by Sfax, unfortunately. It's not meant to look like that, obviously. It's just broken, that's all. And I would like a toggle latch, which will require what? Uh, circuit plates, I need to smell up stone. Just throw this into my Fernicus. Another enderpearl, <laughs> I got for that. I'm spending, that's pretty good. Happy with that. Perhaps I should teach you the recipes. That sounds like a fun idea. Um, put them right there for now. Okay. Recipes. Let's make a few. So, to add a recipe to the furnace, once you've hooked it up, as I have, all you have to do is this sort of thing. And to hook it up, of course, you just place a ME interface into the input slot, and obviously you have to extract from the back because it can't pull out properly. Uh, and then you put recipes into the interface. So, across stone and now circuit plates. So with the circuit plates, what you want to do is put all the recipes in for it. Say so is um, that. Uh, I probably not going to need that one. plate uh, uses cathode can, I, can you craft for its own torches? you can, ok good that's quite useful actually cathode um, cathode anode uh, pointer as well isn't there that's the only other one that I'm really going to need think pointer that's a pointer cool and these are all crafting recipes so they just go into one of these this one is and I can now put the recipe for a timer in probably if I grab some of these that so put the timer in there and we simply request a timer but that's not what I was looking for I was looking for a toggle latch I don't know why I went timer for that uh, do I know how to watch a craft levers probably not uh, this will do um, Okay, so toggle latch. I don't know why I made a timer. And we're going to need something called red alloy wire, which requires
few things. So we run this first. Red alloy ingots. It's made by smelting one of those. Uh, right patterns. Forty of those, please. And three of these makes wire once the black patterns come through. Just wait for these to grow. So it's quite nice. Also, actually I forgot about this, but I made acceleration cards. Uh, and I actually made like 250 of them when you only need 200, so I've got a load of spares for whenever they come in handy. Which they will, I'm sure. So that's why I have so many of those, if you're wondering. Uh, so pop that in here. It also speeds up my auto crafting, of course, which is nice. Right, uh, so we can just make red alloy wire now. 200 of that, sure. I don't need that much, but I've made it anyway. <laughs> Where is it putting us all? I feel like it's done something wrong here. Uh, let's see which CPU is doing it. Right. I know why. Because this is supposed to go into the furnace. That'll fix it. <laughs> I thought they were all crafting recipes for some reason. There we go. Red alloy wire. Okay, so let's set this up. Uh, we're also going to need draw bridges from Tinker's Construct, so we're going to need aluminium. 33. And we're going to need aluminium, brass as copper. So let's say 16, uh, 20. I assume it's going to be 3 to 1. Like everything else, I'm gonna go 24 to 8. We can only smell a, a time though, in this, so we have to wait a bit for that. Uh, regardless, we'll set this up quickly. Let's get rid of these things here. Can I get in? Come on. Let's see if I can do this without encroaching on any more block space. Than I need to. So I'm going to try and stay within one block wide, which is always annoying with the toggle latch, I have to say. Of course, there's a remote there. Always forget that. down as well. Uh, well, I probably don't, but still, as I go the whole way around. Okay, so we're going to have something like this. So the receiver is going to be there. We're going to have that. And the toggle latch is going to come. Do I have to put it down before or after? Oh, really? The toggle latch is going to be the issue here, it would seem. Really, that's that's really annoying, actually. It's not going to do that properly. Not put it on the side there. Hmm. Uh, okay, so what are we going to do here? Can red alloy wire up inside that? No, it cannot. This is fairly restrictive. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I've got a way that works. Right, so if we do that and that and that, it does cause there to be a slight embellishment of sorts on the outside. That's not a big deal, due to the fact that the repeaters can't sit inside such a small space. Not a problem. So, you know, it sticks out like a tiny, tiny bit, but you don't notice it really. It's the only thing. So I'm going to use glass for the door. I'm going to put basalt in each of these, so you can't see it. 
tool, so it just looks plain. And with my remote, which is around here somewhere. I had to turn on magnet mode because I lost it somewhere. Apparently I've done the same again. Somehow. How have I managed that? Hmm. Where have you gone? This battery is nearly full of that stuff. Like that. My door remote appears to have vanished once again. It's not a good sign. There it is. Someone has arrived at the house. Still. So there we go, the door works. Great. Uh, disconnect that. Faster than the other ones by that much. Reduce that. Oh, it's still faster. I'm not sure why they. It's really strange. Do I even need all of these? It looks like I don't. No. Alright, so I'll get rid of these two end ones, yeah. So it looks like then. time to do that. Um, so downstairs I've got the mechanism. Unfortunately there was no way to fit this in due to this not fitting into less than a block space. Uh, but it does mean we can also get inside here if we really want to. Don't know why we'd want to, but we can. So. And a bonus, I suppose. Not really, but, you know, still. That's that. That's the door. So I'll fix the remote at some point. I'm not sure when again, but it will happen. That's good. I think that's going to be open most of the time. As you can see, I did try a lot of things to get it to work. Right, so that's that. And I've got a load of aluminium brass in here for making those drawbridges. 52 spare pieces of it, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I'll turn on magnet mode for this. Harvesting of flax. Flax is really easy to harvest when you've got magnet mode on. So that's what I've done so far this episode. We've obviously made that door. Pretty nice. Makes it feel more like a factory, I suppose. Uh, more things I need to do this episode, or well, want to do this episode. Let's see what, how much time we've got left. 28 minutes in, so. Or 90 minutes in. Unless you know half minutes in. Yeah. Approximately. Uh, so the mod pack's going to get a new update soon. Very soon, which will include um, updates to apply logistics. In fact, that's the main reason for the update. Um, I'll keep that on the end of my whole bar, I think. The flax, flax capacity goes next to it. Uh, so, I think... I know this is a bit random, but I think I want to get into bees from forestry. I don't know, I just feel like it. Probably because I installed binny mods earlier. As you see, there are a lot of bees to get. 
<laughs> so many bees. Far too many. Um, but, yeah, I feel like sort of setting it up in the background or so. So I'll be back once I've got myself ready to go out on a harvest harvesting bees. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I just made myself this scoop, which is used to collect bees. I chose the electrical one from Gendustry. I thought, may as well get it. It's not particularly difficult. Bees are usually used to find out at night time because hives glow in the dark, or just glow in general, but you notice it when it's dark. Uh, but hopefully there'll be some hives around somewhere here. Um, I'd hope, anyway. Yeah, I'd hope there'll be some hives around. Maybe in this forest here, yeah, find some forest drones or something. A tree or something, just to complicate things. I was hoping for meadows, really. Be quite nice. Meadows and forests. Because you kind of need two different ones to get started, don't you? Yeah. I think I need to find a magical forest somewhere, really. I know they find a lot of them there. This is probably what I'm going to do, God. <laughs> uh, well, Jenning, of course, is the answer to that. Can't really do much about it. So, there's a magical forest where we spawned originally, though that's not actually this. It was very laggy today. Uh, let's just make my way to this magical forest because I usually find hives in the magical forest mm. at least I normally do, that's where I find most things most of my bees usually whenever I do them, which isn't very often I'll be honest with you, I play with bees rages so I'm probably going to be quite bad unless I remember some things that are important which I don't think I do but we'll, we'll see how it goes yeah so that's a mana bean, that's from Thalcraft. They're quite good if you can farm them properly. I don't know, actually, I used to farm them in 1.6, so they're not on that recorded series because we didn't have Thalcraft installed, I think. Yeah, in the Maycraft 4. Which was sad. This would look like a magical forest, I mean, the grass is the wrong colour, for one thing. The leaves are the right colour, but the grass isn't, so. I'm not sure what's going on here. That. Where are the bees? Come out, bees. Come out, bees. Stop hiding. God damn it. Why are they so awkward to find? I'll be right back when I found a hive. Okay, guys, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, guys, I have found a hive right here. It's not actually in the magical forest but it, it is a hive nonetheless. So let's just harvest this thing. And we have got the Meadows Drone and a Meadows Princess. That's good at the start. I really need a forest one as well, though, to breed with it, so that it doesn't come out. It's just continuously meadow printed. This is just kind of annoying. So I'll be back when I found a forest hive or a different kind of hive of some sort. Preferably not a desert one, because I don't like those because it means you have to be in a desert to do it. So, we'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, I've just seen two hives here. So let's just harvest these. Curious hive from Magic Bees. A mystical Bone, Mystical Princess. That's cool. And a resonating thing, which is Sorceress Princess. That's interesting. And there's another hive here, which I think is another one of these curious ones. Yeah, it is. That's interesting. So it's got a few bees. Um... Yeah, I'm still trying to work out really what I'm doing here. Other than this. I think that's all I really care about at the moment. Uh, sure, let's go back to the base. Back at the factory. Bree uh, bee brooding is going to be interesting with these bees. Because they're like um, magical, I think. It's also special about these Drones, what does the sorceress bee do? Uh, 
mixed with a forest or like a common. So it can work as a normal drone. Okay, that's that's good to know. And the mystical ones go with what? Just the normals, really. Invisible. That's the end of the line for that one. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, decision, I feel. Eldritch. What does Eldritch go to? Estoic and mysterious. Heatful. Skulking. Skulking tones. It looks different to the other ones. Spidery. Ah, uh, okay, that's pretty cool. I know what I'm doing, so I'm going to breed a sorceress and a mystical, I think. So for that, I'm going to need an apiary. Did I get an industrial one? Probably. Let's give it a go, shall we? Let's make a few of these. Uh, sturdy casing. Piston. Should be good to me. Oh, yeah, of course, be receptacle. Uh, glass. And the bee receptacle, and finally the apiary. Okay, so this, I think we want to do the bees outside, because bees don't like being inside yet. I'm not quite at the stage where I can put bees in 